Yeah, yeah. Good morning. This is Bang Bang Ray Hill. Um, just a little podcast. It's going to be a little one. Uh, how are you? I've had a nice, uh, nice day. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, I was talking to um, some people yesterday over the South Wall, yeah, about uh, Jefferson King from from Shadow from Sh- Shadow at uh, Gladiators, and uh, they've been to visit him, and they reckon he's in a bad way, you know. He's in a bad way. He looks really rough, yeah, but he's training. Um, but he's in, a, he's in a detox win. He's trying to get his life together, but it may be too late, yeah. He's um, he's taking it really, really bad, you know what I mean? He, and he's really sorry for what he's done, but that's what crack co- t- cocaine does. Uh, Jefferson King, you know, everyone knows that he's a, a shadow in uh, gl- the Gladiators, a real big guy that used to work for me on the door. I've also seen him in the city working on the door. The guy was like, you know, six foot three, big, big man, you know, massive, yeah? Very intimidating to look at. Very gentle, really, gentle guy. Didn't say too much, but, um, you know, but he's gone he's gone into that crack world, which I did, which gave me an IPP. And, um, you know, I was speaking to the people yesterday and he's in a bad way, yeah? Now, I, I don't know if he's been sentenced yet. I didn't say nothing about him being sentenced. Um, but please God, he doesn't go and get um, uh, like a big, big sentence. He, he's gonna, he's gonna kill him. You know what I mean? Well, he's gonna die. I mean, he's let himself go so bad from 22, 23 stone down to what eight and a half, nine stone, maybe ten stone. And that's what he does. You know, he just ruins your life. It's um, and, and anyway, so I'm a bit gutted for him. Uh, you know, um, we was talking about the times in Southall. When he used to like um, be be like proper, proper um, well, collecting money for people, you know, and, uh, people who got debts and all that, you know, and uh, it, 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 and he was quite good at it, you know, he was really really good at it. And, I mean, the guy was bigger, big, and and all of a sudden, take one pipe, crack, gets older, take another pipe, crack, you're addicted, and that's it. And all of a sudden. Your life starts going downhill. You need at least five hundred pounds a day to survive on crack. If you are a crack, if you're into crack, and then you need another maybe twenty, thirty pound to go on the brown to get off the crack, to go to sleep or to become normal. So then you're addicted to the, to the brown, then you're addicted to crack, and that's what happens in life. Thank God that I never took that much to get addicted to fucking heroin. I would never took heroin in my life and I would never take it. Now I'm as clean as they come. I don't like people that, that, that take it, but what can I do? I mean, a lot of people do take it, don't tell you, but a lot of the signs are on their fingers, you know, fingers and thumbs get burnt where they're doing, do, doing the lighter. You know, you, you, you can more or less tell the, 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 the fingers in the right bad way, you know, but um, when I was talking to people about Jeff, yeah, I mean, they just couldn't believe it how he'd gone, how he'd gone downhill so quickly, you know, just so quickly. And come on, if you become, I mean, all of a sudden he's become an enforcer in Southall or around that area for the Indians and all that, and getting money and the government. But he used to get it, and then because of the size of him, intim- being very intimidating, he used to just spend it and keep it, you know. And uh, and it's a shame, you know, it's a shame. Um, to do what he did all for a thousand pound it's mad but that's what happens when you're on drugs anyway I was like I was talking about um, a long time ago yeah when I, when I got made up from Owlsbury and I went to the scrubs in the early 70s and uh, I know it, m- my job I was in the I was in the stores and bits and pieces taking clothes and picking up all the dirty clothes taking them to to the laundry in Dewey and I always remember going in there, you know what I mean, and and, and seeing Buster Edwards, you know, like, um, you know, the films, Buster Edwards, you know, the, the train robber, the great train robber, and he was a big man, you know. I mean, I remember train, but he was massive. It was short, very, very powerful, big chest, yeah, big chest, and there, and, 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 and a lot of a lot of the other train robbers were, were, were there as well. Goody, I think Goody was in, 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 in there with him, you know, um, and, then, and, and, and and that was a job. I mean, they, they, they sort of took over the laundry. But I'll never forget Buster, yeah? He was like a big, big man. Short, but 
big, powerful man. You know, and it is what you know. What I mean, but I mean, what they did was unbelievable. The, the, the great train robbery, you know what I mean? And then Bigsy gets out. I'll tell you a little story about that as well. I used to work in the venue on Victoria Street, yeah, and it was owned by Richard Branston, and and uh, you know, and um, one day we was in there. And there was a guy called Mills Miller walked in, ex-military, ex-SAS or something like that, um, in the Marines, very, very powerful man, you know, but um, he got a bit leery when he come in, and uh, me and a few other people got hold of him, and he shit himself, yeah, Miller, I think his name is Miller, and, uh, he, 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 and you know, and I, I wasn't there around him, you know, I mean, I wasn't fighting this geezer, and he was the one who went over to, um, went over to Brazil to get, um, to get to get bigs, and it, you know the, the tale is that uh, it, it was um, it, Richard Branston that put the money up for him to go. I think his name is Miller, short is Miller. And, you know, and when you look at them things, I mean, we, I mean, we was like, I was in the door of the venue, and we was downstairs having something to eat, you know, and um, and all of a sudden this guy walked in with another guy, ex marine, military, very upright. Walked in there, but like, getting really leery, good flesh. And the people I was with, you know, they, they weren't fools. That's why we got a do job on the door. You know, you're not an idiot, you know. And um, and then it's Mills or Miller. I think his name was Mills. Um, and 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 then he got a bit out of his pram. We had to put him in his put him put him back in his pram. You know what I mean? And say, listen, do a sort of favour. You know what I mean? Don't be fucking getting leery around here, yeah. And he was the one who went over there and uh, and took Biggs or tried to take Biggs back to back to England, I think. You know what I mean? But it's a funny old fucking it's a funny old world. Things that go on for money, you know. And 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 you think about you think about uh, Bus Edwards and the train robbery. Can't, was it a million pound? Was it a million pound? I, I, I can't really remember what it was yet. But imagine, imagine going for like thinking there's a hundred thousand pound there. And he go, <laughs> go there, and he get a million or two million or three million or ten million. You know, I mean, I hold my hands up to these people that do that. The nerve they had to do that. I believe they got too much sentence, thirty years or whatever they got for twenty five years. It was only because it was royal mail, and uh, that the, the, they got that sort of they got that sort of sentence. The guy that got hit over the head, the train the, uh, the, the the conductor, or whatever it was. You know, you know, whatever happened there, happened there. It, was, it, it didn't. They didn't mean to do what they did. You know, but that's it. That's what happens. The spur of the moment thing, something happens and and then and, and look what goes on, you know. And I was just like when you when you look back on back on the things, you know, like and, and like 'cause that time it was the same time that I bumped in bumped into Cliff Fields in the scrubs, you know what I mean? And it's the same time and, and you think about all these people, yeah, that that you meet in prison, yeah. And when you come out of prison, them, them people really are quite famous, yeah? They're quite well-known people. And people want to talk about them 24-7 about, you know, because they've never seen them. They've never seen them. All they've done, done is read a book or whatever, and, 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 and that's all they know. But I've actually seen these people, you know? I've actually been with these people. I've actually talked to these people, shook their hands. You know, when I shook bust over his hand, I felt proud, you know? I felt proud. I'm a young kid. Big, powerful. He's big, powerful. He's got all the train rolls with him in, 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 in the laundry. I think he was in, on the uh, folding up clothes or what he was doing. But he was a lump, you know. He was a lump. And, 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 you know, I used to see him sometimes go to the gym. Um, you know, and all that lot go. I mean, but you know, one thing about prison, you know, which is which is like not good for going to prison, obviously, so, you know what I mean? But. Where you, where, when in prison you've got a lot of time to yourself, yeah? Out here, you're always trying to get money, you're running around trying to get money, you haven't got time to do certain things. But in there, you've got time. And the best thing about prison is, you get to the gym. You can get to the gym every day, for an hour, two hours a time. Especially where they were, in D-Wing. D-Wing in the scrubs, yeah, used to be, a woman's prison, yeah? 
crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you look at the old pictures of, of, of the scrubs. D-Wing was a woman's prison, yeah? And you got, I mean, I was in D-Wing for quite quite a bit of time. I think I was in there for about, what, four or five months on, 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 on one of my sentences where I got made up. This is not made up. Well, I've gone back to the scrubs and shipped me over to there because I've done quite a bit of birds, yeah? Shipped me over and then I got released off it. I'm not quite sure. And the doors, the doors in in the scrubs on D wing are really low. All the rest of the doors in, in, in the scrubs are quite high, yeah? Comparison, yeah. But in in the um in D wing the doors are low because of the women and the cells are more smaller. It's crazy, you know what I mean? And to think that was a woman's prison because there used to be a wall going across dividing uh, the rest of the prison from D wing, yeah, it's crazy, you know, like going back all them years, the way prison. You look at you, you look at the archives and look at it, and and you think crikey, and it was all grass and bits and pieces years ago, with it, you know, and playing football and things, and and I, I mean, when I was when I was there um, in the early years, yeah, they used to have dogs in there, Alsatians. Listen, let me tell you something. Them dogs was the worst dogs. You could ever ever want to meet. They were crazy. They must have fed them fucking prisoners. You know, what I mean, they must have fed them. They must have fed them prisoners because it was all right until you walked by them. You know, and they were crying, oh, yeah. And they, and the guys, most of the dog handlers were big guys. You know, and the dogs were as big as a dog handler. You know, so you was also a bit petrified walking around, you know, and, and it was all, a lot of it was marching, not much quick much getting, and, and you got to get in, in, in it, you know, and you got these fucking dogs running around like lunatics, you know what I mean, and you see some people, that go, yeah, go on you, and, and, and the dog handler will not, not let it go, but walk up to the con with the dog, and you know, go a bit crazy, you know, and they're supposed to be, I think it's from A-Wing, yeah, they're supposed to be don't tell me worth it. I'm only telling you what I was, what I've been told. There's a tunnel, yeah. Well, not now; it's more like it's filled in, going from A wing all the way to the station, yeah, where they used to all the French prisoner war people, because the scrubs was a French prisoner war uh, for prisoner wars, right? And there's a, a, a and there's a, a, um, a an alleyway, not an alleyway, a, a tunnel going from from the station. Right underneath to the scrubs, yeah? So I didn't know that, but I know it now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, and, and when you think about it, it's like, that's old, old prison, yeah? And when I was with a guy called Taffy Breeze, yeah? He was a work screw in the scrubs. As I say, I've been made up this, that and the other. I'm in the scrubs, um, and... I got no. I'm, 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 I'm anyway. I I work get a job with a guy called Taffy Breeze. I'm big lump, yeah, and he's a bricklayer, you know, a bricklayer, does all the bits and pieces like that. And he's a big guy. And we went down. We went down stairs to people don't realise this, yeah. There is a basement on every wing in the scrubs, a basement, yeah. So it's more like you filled in now. But at that time, if you go for a door. And it's more like it's still the same. You can go for certain doors on the wings, and there's a basement where they used to keep prisoners. And we went, I went down there with him. You wouldn't believe it. What things that are down there? Do you know what I mean? You're talking about you're talking about a prison with certain things, chains and all that on the wall. It's a thing that, 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 that that's what used to, they used to keep people down there and, and and do things to them. You know what I mean? All that's kept all that's kept quiet. All that's kept quiet. It's an old-fashioned prison, but you can imagine what went on there with the prisoner wars, French prisoner war uh, people, and it went on. It went on. It's down in the basement of, of the scrubs. People think you got you walk in, you got landing. What you got the ground floor ones, two, three, four, yeah. But you don't go like that. You got a basement. You got a basement underneath, and every one one of the wings have got a basement underneath, yeah. And I being being I was in the works, I used to see it. Anyway, when when I was with Taffy Breeze, we used to get one of the best jobs I had with him. Right, was in the kitchen. We used to get in the kitchen uh, late at night, 
and be working there nine nine o'clock at night. You know, I mean, everybody's banged up, but we'll be working. You know, and we we'll go back to the wing. I think I was just doing at that time, and go back to the wing or whatever. But let me tell you, I worked in the kitchen, yeah, and this the the and 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 the 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 PO or the, no sorry the chief the chief there's only two chiefs two chief um, uh, uh, people that, uh, that run the kitchens yeah there's one in the scrubs and there's one in Wandsworth and they're both brothers called Reed 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 right they're both brothers so one does the scrubs one does what's the, and they're both chiefs with a big crown yeah anyway as it happens strict but nice guys yeah nice people old boys but being about seeing all the bits and pieces maybe in there 30 40 years seeing everything they could possibly see possibly see and they used to give us good food i mean we used to get steak and pork chops and lamb chops and all that you know for dinner we used to clean all the kitchen up and, and, and do all, all plaster the walls paint up and all that and one day i was in i went to the stores and walked through the back of the stores into a yard yeah and in the yard, I found a big bar about, what, four foot, three foot, four foot. And I thought, fucking hell. And I love my gym, yeah? So what I've done, I've got these boxes, these cardboard boxes, put them on the ends of these, on the end of the bar, and filled them up with concrete, right? You know, we was doing some concrete in there. Actually, we was doing the floor, renovating the floor. But the concrete, and I, and I mix some more concrete and put it in the boxes, yeah? So when it gets solid, I can take the fingers off and start doing training out there. Yeah? Oh, lovely, lovely. So what I want, yeah? What? One day, one night I went in there and the chief's in there with security, yeah? And they knew it was me. They knew it was me. I mean, I'm the only big, like, big guy, you know, who loved my, my weights and this, that and the other. Called me into the office, read. Okay, listen, I know it's you that's made that, made that, um, that the weights, uh, uh, concrete, it is you in it, yes it is, yeah, right, first of all, you're sacked, you're not on the works no more, second of all, you're leaving the wing you're on, you're going back to A wing, but I've done, done a lot of birds, you know what I mean, well you're going back to A wing, you're going back to twos up, threes up in the cell, rather than a single cell, you're going to freeze up the cell, yeah? Uh, really, your security risk, because if you can make something like that, you can make something to escape, right? But we're not going to, we're not going to nick you or nothing like that, we're just going to, you're going to lose your job, you're going to be chucked off the wing, and you're going to A wing. I thought, fucking hell, over me being, being that, I've lost my job, I've lost my wing, I'm going to A wing, two, three up in the cell, more like have fights in there. I'm going backwards, not forwards, you know what I mean? I went to A-Wing, and I, if I believe it being, that's a memory thing, it? a long time ago, if I can remember rightly, um, they shipped me out there to, 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 to another prison, yeah? But I think I've, they shipped me to Wandsworth, yeah? To Wandsworth, and, um, and I got released from Wandsworth, and, and, and that was it. But, you know, like, all those times ago, I've like, been, I mean, there's so much going on in my life in prisons, you know. So much going on in my life, you know. It's crazy to be able to meet all these people with all these names, you know what I mean? Like, come on, Buster Edwards. You know, you've got films about these people, you know what I mean? You know, and it's like, unbelievable that them people, you actually get in there and shake their hand. How many people watching this podcast now would love to have shake, shook Buster Edwards' his, his, his hand? And actually seen him working in the laundry. Loads. More like everybody that's watching this podcast. And I'm one of the lucky people, yeah. Lucky in respect, respect that I, I've seen all this, yeah. Frankie Fraser's, you know, and uh, uh, the Craze. And, and uh, I mean, there's and the Chibses and the Dixons and the Greens and the Adams, Pat, you know. I mean, I've seen all this, yeah. And I'm, you know, like, Pat, yeah, me and him was, like, really close, yeah, honestly. We was really, really close. And I remember being in Albany with him, you know, and, and I used to train him in the gym. And he used to love doing his curls, Pat, loved it. And I used to call in the antelope, yeah, because he used to run like an antelope, and he could run, 
This guy is a good one, yeah, I swear to my God. He could run, he, he really could run here. And he's a train every day, running around the yard. And uh, I get him, he came in at night time in the gym. And I was to train him in there. And he's do lots of curls with me, loads of curls. A nice geezer, man. A nice geezer, Pat. Um, a lot of people have got bad words to say about him. But he ain't like they say he is. He's a nice guy. Obviously, so. come on, mate. We're all dangerous. You know what I mean? Certain certain times of your life, it's, you know, Pat's all right, mate. I love Pat. I, you know, he's never done me no harm. Never, ever done me no harm, yeah? Anyway, this is just a short podcast. Um, and... I wish you all the best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, and and, I, and there's loads and loads of stories you've got to tell about I might being in the force, um, lots of being in prison. But I want everybody, like, you know, like, to look at what I'm saying to you. Yeah? Don't please be taking crack or coke with it because what's happening to people? You know, a lot, a lot of people yeah, in prison, yeah, or down to crack and coke. Do you know what I mean? Loads and loads of people. Believe me, yeah, people go and look at look at my podcast now that I'm already on coke or what or a crack. You want it one way. Even if you're, even if you've got lots and lots of money, yeah. Even if you've got lots and lots of money, in the end of the time, in the end of it, you're not going to have lots of money. It's going to go. You're going to get people who are going to punch off you. You're going to get women that are going to punch off you. Because that's what it's about. The drug's about women. About being naughty, being rude. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? That's all it's about is drugs. It's about that. Basically, crack coke and crack cocaine. It's all about naughtiness, yeah? And everybody, everybody, including women and men, love a bit of naughtiness. Right or wrong? And that's what it's about, yeah? Anyway, it's Rail. Bang, bang, Rail. Yeah? Please like. Please subscribe. And I'll show you more stories about Jeff, you know, uh, Jeff was the king from Gladiators. And I wish him all the best. He's going to get a big sentence, love him. But he's trying to get his life together. And, uh, you know, and by the time, please don't, he don't get a long sentence, but he's going to get a long sentence. And all I hope and pray is that he looks, gets himself back to the shape he was. He's a nice guy. He speaks really, really well. He don't speak like any horrible language. He is what he is. He speaks good English. Um, and why he went like this, I don't know. But oh, I'm the same. Why I went like that, I don't know. I went from nine stone to, to 23 stone, get put in prison, and then go back to nine stone, and then go back to prison, 23 stone, or whatever it is. So please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for listening to my channel. Bang, bang, way, okay?